I just found a list of the most common wine faux pas that people are guilty of. A faux pas is like a mistake, but like an embarrassing mistake. I'm not sure that's the definition of faux pas, but that's how I see it. Today, I am going to share with you the 20 most common wine faux pas that you may be guilty of. I've done a few of these myself. Here we go. The first one, putting red wine in the fridge. The freezer will chill it much faster. Number two, using a corkscrew on a screw cap. If your bottle of wine makes this noise, it's probably a screw top. Or you could just look for this. Number three, drinking from the bottle, unless you consider boxed wine a bottle. Number four, asking for ice in your wine. I gotta argue this. If you wanna water your wine down, that is your choice. Number five, serving in a wine glass with old lipstick stains. Check your dishes. You gotta polish them with a nice cloth. It's not gonna leave any dust. It's not brain science rocket science, brain surgery. It's not brain surgery and it's not rocket science. It's also not brain science and it's also not rocket surgery. Number six, chipped glasses. Someone could cut their lip, you guys. Buy plastic wine glasses. Number seven, trying to unscrew a cork. This is the opposite of trying to use a corkscrew for a screw cap. Number eight, taking a cheap bottle of wine to a party. I disagree. If you're going to someone's house, who likes wine but isn't some like super knowledgeable wine person, they're not gonna know unless you show up with two buck chuck. Buy something that you've never heard of where the label looks kind of pretty like this. I never spend more than 10 bottles on a bottle of <laughs> I never spend more than $10 on a bottle of wine, so I know this was cheap, but it looks good. good. Number nine, gulping it rather than sipping it. Look, if you're drinking wine to look cool at a party or to go with your dinner, by all means, sip away. But if you're drinking wine to get drunk, eventually you're gonna take some bigger gulps. Number 10, not bringing a bottle, but drinking everyone else's. I kind of do this with food. I'm in a book club and every time I show up to book club, I bring a bottle of wine, but then I never drink the wine. I just eat the food. So I'm eating the food that everyone else brought, but they're drinking the wine I brought. So it's okay, right? Like it's, that's even Stevens. Number 11, drinking out of a tumbler. A tumbler is like, um, like a pint glass. You're not going to drink your wine out of that. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have any other glass. Number 12, pouring yourself a glass of wine before everyone else at the table. You should really already have your glass of wine poured before people even show up to your party. Number 13, asking for a slice of lemon. I waitressed in restaurants and bars for a very long time and never once had anybody in all my years ask for a lemon with their wine, but I'm kind of interested in what it tastes like. So if you like lemon with your wine, let me know. And then once I give birth, I'll try it. Number 14, shaking the bottle before it's served. There's sometimes some sediment on the bottom. How about just a little shimmy? Number 15, asking the waiter to pour more when they were just pouring you a sip to taste. <laughs> I loved when this used to happen. Number 16, putting lemonade with red wine. I've never heard of this either. Isn't the lemonade with your red wine just kind of like making uh, poor man sangria? Which is probably kind of good. Number 17, complaining the red wine isn't cold. Red wine's not supposed to be warm either, so I hate when I have a glass of red wine and it tastes like it's been sitting next to the heating vent. That's gross. Number 18, pronouncing the T in Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir or Pinot? Noir. I'm gonna start purposely saying it wrong so that I get made fun of at restaurants. Number 19, taking a bottle home after it was opened. You also don't bring a bottle of wine to a party that's already been opened. And finally, the 20th wine faux pas is pronouncing the T in Merlot. Merlot, Merlot. All the T's in wines are silent, guys. Even if the wine starts with a T, don't pronounce it. You'll stay safe that way. Tell me if you've made any of these mistakes or if you know their mistakes and don't care. If you know you're making the mistake and you do it anyway, is that better or worse? Anyway guys, subscribe. I post videos Monday through Friday. Be sure to check out my favorite videos. If you're new to my channel, it'll get you started. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.